So in this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of this camper. This is a Rockwood 1940 LTD. Uh, we'll start off with the back, then we'll move to the front, and then we'll go inside. The nice thing with this video is you're gonna see this is a camper set up on an actual campsite. Unlike some of those videos where they're set up in an RV lot, this is how we're actually camping. If you find this video useful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot more camping videos coming soon. This is a Rockwood 1940 LTD um, pop-up trailer. This is a 2020 model. We'll start off on the back and then we'll move our way to the front. So down over here, we got, um, we got our battery, propane tank, and then we got the power lift. The nice thing with this trailer is that it comes with the power lift so you don't have to kind of crank it up. You just push the button. On this side, we have the power cord. So this is the 30 amp power connection. We have the AC prep. So this basically comes out, connects to the top, and that allows the air conditioner to go on. So this is 10 gallon fresh water tank. This is the exhaust for the propane heater. Um, typically, we just kind of keep it covered with tape because bugs get in there, and we don't usually use a propane heater. Instead, we use an electric one, which I'll show you inside. And then this is your fridge. So this is the fridge vent. And then this is the fridge control. So when you open this up, I'll show you quickly. Come look over here a little closer. So this is your fridge control. You have the on button if you're gonna use 120 volt, on button if you're gonna use 12 volt, and then you have propane heat, right? So you can use any three of those. So this is just a drain. Um, recommend having a bucket, right? So you can kind of pour it out later. And this is our city water connection. So if you get a campsite that has city water connect, you kind of just plug it in here and then you can choose if you want to use either the city, the city water or use the uh, fresh water tank. Okay, so moving to the front of the trailer. Over here we have um, a plug. So we use this to get our nice lights on. And these are kind of lights that we just purchased and put on. You have propane connection. So there's a propane connection both inside and outside and I'll show you the inside one in a second. This is, this is our stove top. So double burner. The stove can go inside or outside, so you just lift it up and put it inside if you want to cook there. Typically, for cooking outside, it's a lot nicer, especially when you're out here in nature. This is a little light that it comes with. I haven't really used it. Um, these lights are a lot better. So this is the step over here. It just pulls out like that, very simple. Yeah, let's go inside. So this is the inside of the trailer. I'm gonna give you a quick little tour and then I'll tell you a few things that we find useful. Uh, a couple tips and tricks. So starting on this side, this is the kind of kitchen area. You have your water. So the right one is for the fresh water tank. And the left one is if you have a city water connection. So it won't work if you're not connected to city water. Um, it has red and blue, but it doesn't mean anything. You have the fridge down over here. So decent sized fridge. Over here is your propane heater. So typically we don't use propane heater. Uh, instead, I actually like to use one of these electric heaters. So you basically just, you just plug it in and you'll use it. Um, it's a bit safer and it's a lot quieter. Like this is very loud. Now, if you don't want to use this and you want to use the propane heater, you have the thermostat right over there in the corner. So you can adjust it to what setting you want and then it'll turn on. Now we got two bunkheads here. This is the double. Uh, you can still fit two people, but you gotta squish a little bit. Um, all of these gray areas will zip open. So if you want like a nice view, you can zip it open. Down here you have the drawers. This is where we keep all of our dishes and cups and whatever else we need. Over here is kind of some more utilities. If you're interested to actually see or go through this, let us know in the comments and then maybe we'll do a little bit more detailed tour. One other note in this one, if you want, um, there's a kind of pro the propane plug for outside will kind of vent and come up through over here. So. If you want to bring the grill, you place it over here and you get the propane. This is just our cutlery, so more cutlery. This is the dinette. So it's it's good for two people. You can squish two people here. The table will also go down and turn it into a bed. The cameraman, turn it around. Slept there last night. Tell them how it was. Honestly, pretty comfortable. More surprising that it was actually that comfortable for a kitchen table. Um, on this side, this is the queen size bed. Now, one thing I didn't one thing I didn't mention about the beds is that both of them have heated mattresses. So, there's a plug. Come a little closer. You see over here. You just turn it on. And there's settings from I think one to six. 
and we've we've slept in like maybe four degrees or something and, and only had it on three and, and we were toasty so i'm sure you can get this down to pretty cold the door is nice because the door uh, has kind of sliding vents you can close it open it however much you want you can open both if you like over here there's just some more storage so we just have a few little bins um, ones for electrical ones for water ones for kind of general utilities um, nice thing with keeping all your tools and everything over here too is that easy you get easy access so if you want to open the door you can kind of just reach your hand and, and get it and it opens from both sides so now underneath the table kind of come over here and show them this metal ledge is where the stove sits when you're in travel so you'll come in and put the stove here and then you'll bring the table down it just folds in it sits on these like four black uh, kind of supports. So that's nice. So down here you have your carbon monoxide detector and you have your water pump on and off switch. The control panel is just around the corner. So if you have to switch any fuses, it's right over there. Uh, and then you have a nice outlet. So this, so this is the air conditioner. Uh, this is an air conditioner and fan. This is an upgrade that came with this trailer. Not all models have it. So if you're ever concerned about plugging in your phone or anything like that, the nice thing is that there's five outlets in this trailer. The first one is as soon as you walk in. The second one is also when you walk in right over there. We have one over here, number three. There's one underneath the table, which you can't really see, but it's down there. And there's one behind over there. You can see uh, it's plugged in. Okay, here's a few quick recommendations. So number one, get some carpets, right? These carpets were, were from the dollar store, three, four dollars. But when it's colder outside, the bottom of the trailer gets kind of pretty chilly. So we like to have one at the front entrance, underneath the table, and then when you're standing and doing dishes. Another recommendation is get a good coffee machine. Um, this is amazing. We just kind of keep it in here and we use it for coffee, we use it for tea. And when we're doing our dishes, we'll actually warm up some hot water and help do the dishes because this trailer doesn't have a hot water tank. So sometimes if you're doing barbecue, the grease is very hard to get off. So we'll use that. The only thing is that you can't run this the same time you're running the heater because the fuse will trip. So make sure you're you're not running too many electrical things at once. Rope plate. So you can just get a cheap rope plate. I think this was $10 a Canadian tire or something. And it comes with a little remote and you can kind of go as fun as you want. There you go. <laughs> so another recommendation is get a bunk end organizer. So we picked this one up on Amazon and it's perfect. You can put books in there, you put your phone, you put your keys, whatever you want. If you're sleeping, it's easier to kind of have access to that compared to having to go grab something from your bag. Another quick tip, Dollarama, get a mirror. There's no mirror in here. So this, we kind of just attach it. It's attached to the zipper. So. You can zip it and open, and then in the evening or in the morning, if you gotta get ready, there's your little mirror. So one other recommendation that, that we kind of did, which is a very cheap upgrade, was underneath this mattress, we put we put some of these uh, like foam pads, and the nice thing is that it increases cushion, right? And then it also increases warmth in the middle of the night, because all you really have is a piece of plywood underneath, so that's very useful and very cheap. Another tip which is very useful is getting yourself a water tank. Um, sometimes the campsites don't have the water hookup and you're going to want to refill it. So this is a 10 gallon tank. These are six gallon containers. It has a nice little spout. So you just attach it on and then you can pour it in. That step stool is also good to have. If you kind of forget to plug this in before you pop it up or you forget to do the awning before you pop it up, bring a little step stool to help you get that reach. <laughs> There's no way you're reaching that. One more recommendation is getting a roof rack. So we got a roof rack on here. We can fit two kayaks and two bikes. There's actually room to put even, I think maybe a third or fourth bike one. Uh, so if you're ever going and you wanna have some fun toys, that's awesome. So I'm gonna give you a few quick tips upon setup that will help you. So first thing is get a flat plate for the jack. Um, it's a lot easier than having your wheel and a lot more sturdy. Second of all is you want to get uh, some of these leveling blocks. So I've seen people use just wood before, but the thing is, is when you're on a site like this, like this is very sloped. So you'll see, what's another one? So you'll see over here um, that we have no blocks on that wheel and three blocks on this wheel. And if your camper is not level, you're going to notice that the door won't close properly. The water is going to kind of pool on the sink. You're going to sleep a little bit weird. So make sure you get those leveling blocks. Another upgrade we did with this trailer, which is pretty good, was we put two more jacks on the front. 
because you've only had them on the back, but you notice that it's a little bit wobbly, so you can add those. Tell them about the wheel. The, on the front jack, you usually get a wheel, single wheel. We upgraded to a double wheel. Much better for maneuverability, getting in and out of tight spaces. And uh, you know, just snaps on with the clip that you can just transfer in and out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get this on Amazon. I think it's about $20, $30. Um, so we'll put the link in the description. If you find this video useful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot more camping videos coming soon.